Hello students, this is Akansha and welcome to our channel Agla Sam School. Today we are going to do NCRT solution for class 6, science chapter 6, which is changes around us. This chapter is about type of changes like nails, hair, weight grows, leaves fall and plants grow. So without wasting any time, let's start with the question answers. Now turn to page number 51, question number 1. To walk through a waterlogged area, you usually shorten the length of your dress by folding it. Can this change be reversed? The answer is yes. The length of the dress can again be increased by unfolding it. Hence, this change can be reversed. Question number 2. You accidentally drop your favorite toy and break it. This is a change you did not want. Can this change be reversed? The answer is no. This change cannot be reversed. Question number 3. Some changes are listed in the following table for each change. Write in the blank column whether the change can be reversed or not. The answer is A. Sawing of a piece of wood. No, cannot be reversed. Second, melting of a ice candy. Yes, can be reversed. Third, dissolving sugar in water. Yes, can be reversed. Fourth, cooking food. No, cannot be reversed. Fifth, ripening of a mango. No, cannot be reversed. Six, soaring of milk. No, cannot be reversed. Question number four. A drawing sheet changes when you draw a picture on it. Can you reverse this change? The answer is, if we draw a picture on a drawing sheet with a pencil, we can get back the original drawing sheet by erasing the drawing with an eraser. In this case, the change can be reversed. However, if we draw with a pen, then the original drawing sheet cannot be obtained back because we cannot erase ink. Hence, in this case, the change cannot be reversed. Question number 5. Give examples to explain the differences between changes that can or cannot be reversed. The answer is, to explain the differences between changes that can or cannot be reversed, some examples are given below. First, if we inflate a balloon, the size and shape of the balloon undergoes a change. However, the original size and shape of the balloon can be obtained back by allowing the air to escape from the balloon. This means that the change that occurs by inflating a balloon can be reversed. But if the balloon bursts after being inflated, then its original size and shape cannot be obtained back. Thus, in this case, the change cannot be reversed. Second, if we fold a piece of paper, then the shape and size of the paper undergoes a change. In this case, the original shape and size of the original paper can be obtained back. Thus, this case can be reversed. However, if we cut the piece of paper, the change in the shape and size of the paper cannot be reversed. Third, after we roll out chapati from a ball of dough, the chapati can be converted back into a ball. Thus, the change occurring here can be reversed. But if we cook the chapati on a tawa, then it cannot be converted back into a ball of dough. Thus, the change is irreversible. Question number 6. A thick coating of plaster of Paris paste is applied over the bandage on a fractured bone. It becomes Hard on trying to keep the fractured bone immobilized, can the change in POP be reversed? The answer is, when water is added to plaster of Paris, it changes to another substance and on drying it hardens. Once the POP has hardened, its shape cannot be changed. Therefore, the change in POP cannot be reversed. Question number 7. A bag of cement lying in the open gets wet due to rain. During the night, the next day the sun shines brightly. Do you think the changes that have occurred in the cement can be reversed? The answer is, in this case, the changes cannot be reversed. This is because the cement that hardens up after getting wet cannot be obtained back. So these were the question answer of this chapter and I hope you have noted it down. If you still have any doubt, you can write it down in the comment section. We will definitely get back to you. And for that, you have to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. We will be back with the next chapter, which is getting to know plants. So till then, bye-bye students.